Okay, everybody. Um, make sure you know the definition of social psychology, the relationship of social psychology to personality psychology. Um, attribution we talked about in terms of dispositional, which is internal, versus situational, which is external. Attribution is what drives or is the reason for behavior or an event. And then we talked about the fundamental attribution error that we make on a consistent basis. Make sure you know that. The big error we make um, with attribution is um, seeing everything is internally driven. We, we discount situational factors for a variety of reasons, mainly because we're not aware of them. Um, second, and, and secondly, um, it's much easier to make sense of things just by looking at a conclusion or looking at an event and then relating it to some personal quality that would uh, possibly lead to it. Um, so make sure you know that. Make sure you know what const rules are and schemas are, ways of perceiving social reality. I explicit versus implicit processing. Obviously, we talked quite a bit about uh, implicit and explicit bias. You guys took that implicit bias test online. Uh, automate, automatic and controlled processing obviously relates to that. Um, we got into self-concept and self-esteem. Working self-concept um, fluctuates over situations and time. Um, contingencies of self-worth, things that are core to our self-concept. Better than average effect, the idea that we tend to have a bit of an inflated view of ourselves, um, most people, the vast majority of people. Um, the self-evaluation maintenance model. Um, kind of contributes to that too, in terms of seeing ourselves in a positive light. Make sure you know what self-verification theory is. We talked about that, self-regulation, um, the idea of comparing the ideal self with the actual self and the difference between the two, you know, kind of contributing to our uh, overall psychological adjustment, psychological health. Your book talks about, and we talked about a little bit, um, using faces, to determine um, the human face, to, de to determine certain traits. Uh, make sure you're read up on that. Uh, Self-fulfilling prophecy as it affects not only how we perceive reality, but it actually affects external reality in terms of um, how we act toward it, um, expressing the impact of our behavior. Um, how we pay attention to negative behavior. We talked all about the framing effect and spin framing and the recency effect and the um, things like that. Confirmation bias, primacy effect, you know, all of those different ways that we process information. And obviously we pay a lot more attention to negative or fear evoking information. Um, the construal level theory, we talked about that. I also have a, a video on uh, the, the uh, site that I asked you guys to look at on that. And let's see. Um, I think that's about it. Social comparison theory. Make sure you um, you know what that is in terms of where we compare ourselves to others. Um, and um, I think that's about it. It's... Um, Actually, going to be 30 points of multiple choice and 20 points of short answer. Uh, so you have basically four short answer questions worth five points apiece, then 30 multiple choice. Um, the four short answer questions are, are brief. There may be a paragraph, so you won't be writing a ton. You have plenty of time to take the test. And that's about it. So good luck tomorrow, and I will see you all next week.